In this class, we are going to learn how to refer any external JavaScript library in our Visual Builder application. Suppose if you want to build any custom function in your Visual Builder application for which we don't have a component. Like suppose if I consider the example of creating .xlsx file or a MS Excel or workbook file. So we can make use of external JavaScript libraries like the XLJS. I'm here in the CDN documentation page for XLJS. Here we will be getting n number of links which we can make use. So whatever is necessary in order to solve your use case, you can just copy from here and use in your project. You can even get the source for this JS file and upload to the Visual Builder application for reference. Now in this class, I'm going to show you n number of ways how you can refer to the external JavaScript libraries in your Visual Builder application. First thing what you can do is if you are making use of the source code like for min.js the source code for this you what you can do is you can upload your here that is the js click on this plus and you can just name your dot js file and you can upload or else what you can just do is right click over here in the js and click on this import and select your dot js file it will import directly in your js folder within the resources now this is the first thing you have to do if you are getting the js file on your own other thing is what you have to do is you have to go to the source section and go to this index.html file over here. You can refer any external libraries in HTML code with the help of this script tag. You can refer to W3 schools for more details on how to use this script tag and refer to the external JavaScript libraries. So script tag, optionally you can provide that text slash JavaScript or you can just refer to the script tag and the source over here and refer to the xljs.min.js, whatever you have over here xljs.min.js you can refer in your index.html that is in the script tag. I have made use of this that is xljs.min.js in my script tag over here in the index.html page so you can make use of the same so if you are making use of the script tag in your html then what you can do is in the javascript function in your visual builder application you can make use of something like define square brackets and round brackets you don't have to define anything over here you can directly refer to your javascript library class in that imported.js file like this new xljs like how i am referring so you will see this as an error at the time of this design time check but when you run this application in the browser you will not find any issues now suppose i am clicking on this preview mode it will open up the page for me and when i click on this create excel file it will generate the file that is the dot xlsx file now as you know there is no native support to generate the dot xlsx file i'm making use of the xljs library over here now if you see it has written the data in the file also it has populated the sheet name over here now all those things you can do or achieve with the help of the javascript function so in this use case i have made use of this xlgs and i am making use of this code in order to populate the data in order to populate the workbook or the excel file now this is one of the method other method what you can do is you can go to this app iphone flow.json over here and you can write this piece of code that is before this translations it should be before this or it should be a sibling of this id description so you have to copy paste this portion of code and you have to provide the path of your the dot js file that is this one min dot js just make sure you don't populate dot js over here while you provide the path in this required js you have to provide before dot js whatever the link is now suppose in your case if you have uploaded this file in the resource section what you can do is you can provide over here the resources slash js that is resources slash js and the library name whatever you have used in order to upload over here Similar thing in the index.html also same if you are referring from the resource section just provide resources slash js and the file name instead of this online reference for the js file. Now suppose if you have uploaded over here that is in app flow json file the details then what you can do is you have to refer your libraries with the help of this notation that is xlsx go to this provide here xlsx and you have to mention over here the name with which you will be accessing in your code that is xljs. So like this you have to define in your code then only your code will work now as soon as you provide the details over here you will get an error over here like excel sx is not defined so nothing to worry if you just click on this preview the code will work properly without any issues now if i click on this button this code will run normally and it will generate the file so no issues don't panic if you see this mark over here that is there is a problem so like this you can make use of the external javascript libraries available from the cdn or any resources and you can use your own javascript libraries as well in order to solve any critical business requirement which you cannot achieve with the help of the components which is provided by oracle visual builder in this case i have considered the example of dot xlsx file which is currently not possible to generate or read with the help of the components available in oracle visual builder application 
so you can refer to any external javascript libraries with the help of this index.html page or you can refer to this require js that is the path to your cdn or any reference on the web or even to the resources or the local repository which is available in your visual builder application that is under resources js to your locally uploaded javascript file and you can leverage the capabilities of those external javascript libraries in order to solve any business challenges